All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Fizz in the mid lane in Season 11, guys. Now, quickly going over the setup and everything that I highly recommend. Um, I recommend Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Revenant Hunter, with Presence of Mind, Coup de Grace, Attack Speed, AP, and also Magic Resist. I also highly recommend taking a Doran's Ring. <coughs> and besides that, also with Ignite and Flesh. Also, I highly recommend going for Max E, then W and Q. And then lastly, for the entire build, I'm going to leave that inside of the description below. So don't forget to check that out, guys. Now, we are currently sitting into a kind of interesting matchup, the Fizz into Gregas. Now, this is, believe it or not, this is actually quite a decent matchup for Gregas. He can actually, um, he can constantly like CCS us all the way to death. It's a pretty tough matchup the way how he, uh, depends on how he's going to play it. <clears throat> I was going to start off letting Grega sort of like push it in towards me and just at least play it out safe until we reach level 3. Uh, when we do reach level 3, that's probably when we will start playing aggro. I'm just going to take my W here. Guys, most important thing with Fizz... If you're learning this champion, if you're looking for the perfect mid laner, uh, keep in mind you can actually use W as an auto reset. So you can basically auto and then W for the extra auto. Also, last hitting with uh, W makes it quite easy to farm. Every time a creep goes down, you can literally just press your W and do like a lot more damage to the creeps. This is a pretty good far uh, farming champion for those that are having difficulties farming with a, uh, you know, in general. Because the W allows that. I think we could actually start off a fight soon. Let's see. Depends on uh, depends on Akram here. Nice. I'm just gonna flash for this one. This one's gonna be free. There we go. Most important thing with Fizz, you have to respect your opponent in the early game. Some matchups are highly in the favor for Fizz, um, but some of them are not. But most importantly with Fizz, Fizz requires a lot of space during the laning phase. So if you actually start like pushing the lane, you're actually making yourself vulnerable to losing that lane. And what I mean with this, if you're pushing the lane, let's say that we're pushing into Gregas. Um, let me quickly buy my item first. We're just going to be building Night Harvest here. It's actually a pretty good item. But basically what I mean with this is if we push in directly into Gregas, we can't use my Q to trade with him because we get q forward. And we can't farm that easily either because we don't have the space. And besides, we only have one E to work around with. So if we don't stand close to the turret, we can really like fight easily at all. This is why I highly recommend, you know, having the lane around this side of this lane actually helps you out so much. Okay, we're going to be dodging Gregas' Qs every single time. We're going to approach him differently than other matchups. Um, we're going to be mainly just sitting here. Most of the time, at least for now, until we reach level 6. Nice. Let's get the cannon right here. I'm going to use my W to ensure. Guys, if you're playing Fizz, always make sure you actually max out your, um, your E first and then your W after. Just proc in the Electrocute and then backing off again. Didn't, even, didn't want to miss out CS right there. Okay, their jungler was topside for the last time. So I'm just going to like kind of like position myself around here. Uh, just to make sure. I'm going to place a ward down in case he might actually backport to base. Let's see. Gragas is a pretty good counter champion. Because if we Q on him, he's going to like drop down the entire combo. Nice. We're not going to fight him as much. I'm going to position myself like this. I think we could probably get a kill on him if Hecarim is going to come around though. I'm 
All right. Well, he should be able to get him if he actually went in there. He should have actually been able to get him. Uh, I was actually I was perfectly baiting him for it for this, but he didn't take the chance. It's fine though. It's okay. Grace currently down there. Let's buy boots here. We don't have potions though, but it's all right. We ha we can buy one potion within like ten gold. I'll just wait for this tiny little bit so we can have a little bit of sustain. Okay. So, as you guys can see, in this lane, we can't really do as much. We can't really just trade Gregas because it's just the way how this champion works. If we engage in him, he's just going to pop E and R. So, we will have to play around this. So, mainly what I'm going to do during this laning phase, we're just going to be pushing this out. Mainly. And we're going to focus this game around, like, roaming across the lane. Roaming across the map. See if we can get something done. Oh, whoops, actually missed that one. There we go. Let's see where Greg is going to come from. I'm going to use my W to like push uh, as quickly as possible. If he walks up to us, then it probably means that there's someone here. Okay, here we go. We can probably take him down. I got my ultimate in like two seconds. Let's see if we can reach him. Okay, he flashed for it. He doesn't have to flash anymore. That's pretty huge. If he he could start the dragon if he wants to, I'm just going to walk back now. My ultimate is just 80 seconds, so we will survive. Kind of unfortunate though. We were basically trading um, trading an ultimate. For a flash. It's not the best thing ever, but kind of hope. I was kind of hoping to get a kill. Grace is currently bot lane. As soon as we get the uh, next item, the Night Harvester, we are be we're becoming uh, a little bit more tanky. Also very strong. Okay, I had to flash this one, otherwise it might throw me into uh, into the turret. We don't want that, so. Good. Let's push it out all the way, and then we're going to reset. We just need to push this out as quickly as possible. Nice. Oh, actually, uh, didn't do, do my W properly, but it's fine too. Okay, so we're going to go back now. I'm going to purchase the next item, which is going to be the Blasting Wind. We can also go for Sorcerer Shoes that we to provide us the movement speed. I think I'll just go ahead and take that, actually. And we're going to buy another potion. Alright, we're just going to do the same thing on repeat. I'm going to be pushing down mid lane, and then we're going to be roaming to top and bot lane, depending on the situation. Um, because once again, like this matchup is pretty bad for us. We can't really do that much in this matchup. So it comes down to playing around it. We got him. Very good. We got another catch here. Sweet. The good thing is like, um, Fizz has this catching kind of, um, play style. Nice. Pretty good. Let's push this out. Nice try, but you're not getting me here. I'm just going to respect him. I'm going to go back once again. And this time we're... I'm also considering taking a Dark Seal in this game. And the reason for that uh, is because I think we're going to be snowballing pretty hard this game, because look at the way how the t how the game is going. We've got like uh, we've got like nine kills on the team so far. It's going pretty bad for these guys. So I think if we go for Dark Seal, I think we might be able to snowball extremely hard. 
Let's go ahead and take that. We will get the stacks and uh, afterwards get the Dark Heart Fester. Not going to miss that one. Oh, okay. Nice. We got the farm. That's actually Gregus Balling currently. Just gonna push out as quickly as possible and then move ball lane. Nice. Let's move down there. See if we can do something. Ooh, that's actually so close. We can actually get this guy. Hold on. We got him. Very good. I'll take down his part as well. I think we could probably kill Ash as well, but it depends on how close she's going to get to us. Hmm. Well, not enough, but. She, she even flashed for that, actually. Let's see if this guy's healed for me. Yeah, he actually, no, he actually doesn't have heal. We actually did a pretty... We, we did something good there. We actually got the flash down of Ash. Which is... That's that's actually really good, but... Couldn't get much more, unfortunately. So... We are going to go back again. This time we're going to get the Blasting Wind. Or Blasting Wound. So far we've got three kills. We're getting very massive right now. If we keep this up for a while, we will get the stacks. We're going to become huge. Uh, Graves is currently in the river. I saw him there. Here we go. Now we can start taking uh, farm down quickly. Oh, we missed that one. Let's push this out. Gonna use my E. This time, however, we're going to go top lane and see if we can maybe uh, get these guys down. We can let him go if he wants to and just take him down myself. I got him. Just flashing in case. But he doesn't get to run. Nice. Push up the next wave as well. Going to kind of like drag the wave so we can push this easier. Maybe we could probably try to take uh, the turret down. Could give it a try. Yes, we got it. Very good. So we can now buy the uh, the first item. We already have four stacks on my dark seal. Pretty good. We're already having four kills as well. Our next item now is going to be the lich pin to improve the damage. We're also going to get the um, the blue trinket. Let me quickly pin that. There we go. Okay, let's go mid. So far, we've been a lot more useful through the game than Gregus ever would be. He's been like kind of like farming mid lane. He's done like one roam so far, which failed. But yeah, generally, like this is the way how you want to play Fizz during the laning phase. Uh, Gregus is balling currently. That's good for me. I'm just going to push out this wave. Get the turn, maybe. Farming with Fizz is sometimes, it, it can be so satisfying because of the W. That's going to be another turret for us. Could have to be, I have to be careful of Warwick though. I'm just, I'm going to walk back just, just in case. Since everybody's missing. Could try to do an attempt. 
to maybe all in someone that's gonna come over here. Uh, we can, okay, we can take them down. This, my, my ultimate miss, but it's, it's fine. It's okay. Got my ultimate coming back in another minute, so it's fine. I'm not really sh Okay, they actually have wards here. Alright, I wasn't really sure if they had vision, but apparently they did. Ooh, nice. We can fight this. Don't, don't have my ultimate though, but... Okay. Let's push. My farm is not the best in this game right now. My farm could have got better, but since we've been roaming that much, we've been like fighting the whole time, and we've also been in a pretty bad uh, matchup, it's understandable. Oh, they already surrendered. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much how you play Fizz. Um, let me get to the stats real quick. Anyways, guys, this is very much how you play Fizz in the mid lane uh, in a pretty hard matchup. Uh, S for the damage. It was a pretty quick game, not gonna lie. Um, my community actually did lots, lots of damage. Um, anyway, we did 6,861 damage. As for the runes, once again, this, these were the numbers we've had. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Don't forget to check out my live stream. I'm streaming like six times a week. Um, currently not streaming right now, but pretty much live every day. I'm going to start going live in about an hour or so. But hey, anyway, thank you for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys up in the next video. Peace.